Hi everyone, Kelly here. Today I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about the Yellow V5 oriented bounding boxes model and how to train your already annotated data set using Yellow V5 OB. So what are oriented bounding boxes? So essentially they are bounding boxes that are rotated at an angle to be able to capture the objects that you want to detect that are rotated at an angle. So for example, we have here some cars that are parked in a parking lot. And as you can see, they are rotated here and the oriented bounding boxes were able to capture these objects more tightly and more accurately. So let's go ahead and get started uh, training a data set using Yellow V5 OB in a Google Colab notebook. First thing we're gonna wanna do is run this line of code here, which installs uh, Torch and Torch version. Um, and this line of code is also going to prompt us in checking, um, oh, excuse me, so it's also going to prompt us uh, in order to import Torch, um, check torch.version.cuda, and then we're gonna exit that prompt. We're then going to want to go ahead and get clone our yellow v5 ob repository and then install its requirements from there we want to cd into the util slash nms folder in order to run our setup.py then we're going to we're going to want to cd back out uh, and make our own folder which, which we're going to call data, data sets and inside the datasets folder, we're going to run our pip install RoboFlow code snippet, which is a code snippet that you can find when you export um, a given data set that you're working on or from RoboFlow Universe. And I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to do that here really quick. So let's say we have our own data set that we annotated on app.roboflow.com. You are going to want to click this export button here and select oriented bounding boxes, show download code, and then copy and, co copy and paste this code snippet here onto your notebook. If you are tinkering around on RoboFlow Universe, you can, fo you can follow the same steps. So just download. Again, make sure that you are exporting as yellow V5 oriented bounding boxes format. Show download code and copy and paste the pip install RoboFlow code snippet onto your notebook. So once that is finished running, what we want to do here uh, before we run our train.py is we want to rename the data set that we installed to RoboFlow. And that's because when we run our train.py, um, it's going to expect our data set name to be RoboFlow regardless of um, the path that's encoded here. So I, wanna, I went ahead and did that in advance, but if you haven't done that yet, just go ahead and click these three dots, click rename folder, and just rename it to RoboFlow. Another thing you're going to want to confirm before you run train.py is that it, the folders are structured in this manner here. So for example, we have YOLO v5 ob out on, on, out on its own here. And we also have the datasets folder that we created earlier out on its own. And when we open the datasets folder, we have our RoboFlow dataset. And then inside our RoboFlow dataset, we have test, train, valid, and our data.yaml in, in this structure here. So just go ahead and confirm that before you run your train.py. And after you run uh, your train.py code snippet, um, we want to CD back into Yolo v5 ob where we're going to run our detect.py. Once that's done, we can CD um, into Yolo v5 ob slash run slash detect slash exp. And in that folder, um, this code snippet here essentially randomizes the picture that you select from that folder um, to see how 
your model is able to train in detecting your object and voila, orient in bounding boxes. Thank you all so much. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at discuss.robofull.com and we'll see you in the next video.